This video is sponsored by Sony Handycam. How do you make yourself notice when you are surrounded by big, bad, affordable smartphones? By selling cheap, possessing a good design, and packing value-added features on board. The BenQ T3 is an interesting smartphone that we have enjoyed over the weeks. Is it a phone with compromises or value? Let's find out in this episode of Gadget Review. With Chinese smartphone makers like Xiaomi and Huawei crashing the smartphone market, BenQ is suddenly having a tough time keeping up the hype. However, with the T3, things might be a little bit different. Aesthetically, the BenQ T3 is far more impressive than most mid-range smartphones that we have come across. It is neither the thinnest smartphone nor does it come with an aluminum frame. The BenQ T3 is sleek, lightweight, and feels nice on hand thanks to a nice 4.5-inch display and its very comfortable form factor that comes with a soft touch matte back cover. Priced below 500 ringgit, the T3 is equipped with respectable mid range internals such as 1.2GB quad core Snapdragon 400 CPU, a gigabyte of RAM, 4GB expandable storage, 8MP main camera, VGA front facing camera, and a 1900mAh non removable battery. Despite having a lower quarter HD resolution, the display still looks good at least under our eyes, though we really wish it could be a little bit brighter for better visibility outdoors. Color reproduction is really good for an entry-level smartphone and viewing angles are decent. BenQ's low blue light technology is also present on the T3, which gives a comfortable reading experience. The phone's loudspeaker also produces pretty decent volume levels, however, you are not going to enjoy music listening for long hours over them. We haven't been really impressed with BenQ's software experience back then. Our T3 has been updated to the most recent software update, which introduces a new set of fresh-looking app icons. Functionality remains the same as the F5, such as accessing newly installed apps through the new corner, while BenQ still lifts up the app drawer, which most will still prefer to have. The T3 may come with the necessary processing power it needs. However, the paltry 4GB internal storage isn't satisfying, as apps tend to fill up the space easily with only 2GB of user accessible memory, so make sure you expand the storage if you want to do more with the phone. The T3 packs a very decent 8MP autofocus camera that takes picture with accurate color saturation and sufficient details in daylight. HDR performance is also good, which is pretty rare on entry-level devices. More camera samples can be found in the description link down below. We've reviewed numerous Snapdragon 400 powered devices and the T3 performs just as similar to many other devices in benchmarks. Not forgetting to mention that it performs really decent in real-world usage. Battery life on the other hand isn't great despite of its efficient hardware and software, which we only happen to squeeze 10 to 12 hours of juice in a single day with a small amount of web serving and texting over LTE. We have no network reception issues on the phone, while callers have reported a decent voice call quality. BenQ has built smartphones that we are finding a joy to use. The T3 is definitely one of the most impressive mid-entry-level smartphones that we have used to date. Apart from having memory issues, the phone is a great daily driver in most cases if you aren't thinking to use it for extreme gaming and multitasking. Of course, the phone's low blue light display is a feature that you should really take note if you do a lot of web serving and reading on a smartphone. The T3 officially retails at 499 ringgit making it one of the most value for money 4G LTE smartphones that you can buy at this point of time. The BenQ T3 gets a score of 7 out of 10. There you go folks, this is the BenQ T3 and that's it for the video review. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and if you like what you saw, do click on the thumbs up button and leave any comments down below if you have any questions and also help us by clicking on the subscribe button right here and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and even Instagram at KL Gadget Guy to check out activities offers as well as other editors of KL Gadget Guy. We'll be giving you more contests this year so stay tuned. I'll see you next time in our next upcoming video and ciao! This is the BenQ T3.